So I've been building devices for my dog and sort of many other dogs for uh, quite a while now and I think a lot of these devices are really important to give dogs choices or options to do things for enrichment reasons. So for instance, like uh, they could use it to play music or to video call their human like in this example. The dog phone is a device that allows a dog to video call their human. In the pet market at the moment, a lot of these technologies allow you to video call your dog, um, but really your dog has no control over this. Um, and dogs have been trained to answer calls, but no one really knows what a dog would do if they had control over a video call. And so this uh, device was really designed to sort of just flip it and sort of see what a dog would do if they had control over the video and over the internet themselves. The dog phone was a ball that was formed around um, my dog and we first looked at how he interacted sort of with the world and then we started to build devices from how he interacted with these different objects and so he mostly carried this ball object around um, and we ended up putting technology inside of it that recognized when he would do some movements with it. And then when he did movements, we had um, a laptop set up in the home for him. It would video call me. And we used this over several sort of weeks and I gave it him whenever I, uh, he was left home alone for a long period. It was very sort of exciting to get calls from him initially. Um, it became a bit more anxious for me near the end because um, sometimes I wouldn't get a video call or he wouldn't ring me through the day and I'd be thinking, oh, he usually rings me at this time. For him, it was the other way around. He, I think he was more sort of confused at it at first, like when uh, we first demonstrated the ball to him, he got like uh, a bit confused, he whined a bit, um, but after that he was perfectly fine with it. I think from this experiment what it's really sort of demonstrated to me is that we can really form technology very differently for animals. Is that we, animals can be active users of technology, they can control technology. Um, we just need to really reshape our thinking about how we see the future of dog technology.